All right, we are here at Outlaw Diesel Revenge 2024. We are excited for a great weekend coming up. The weather is absolutely beautiful today on setup day, and uh, we've got a couple action-packed days of racing coming up. Tomorrow, we're going to go into two rounds of qualifying, followed by a burnout pit and sled pulls tomorrow evening. So it should be a good day of action tomorrow. We'll also be running alongside of the UCC trucks. So that's going to keep the action on the track pretty busy. Rolling into Saturday, we're going to finish out uh, qualifying on Saturday morning with the uh, final round of qualifying and getting all of the index trucks, uh, their qualifying um, passes. And then we will go into eliminations and uh, race into the evening. So full weekend here, really happy with how many people are showing up already. It's always fun to see the people that show up to the biggest race of the year um, and the distances that they travel. So it'll be fun to see some new rides and uh, see some guys that don't show up to the East Coast very often. So we're looking forward to that and uh, should be a good weekend. We got Wyatt here, we got an LB7 base Duramax, and we're trying to go fast. What do you think, Wyatt? Well, we started out with the wrong engine platform to do that, but we're going to give it our best shot, guys. Uh, we had a little bit of a mishap on our Q1 uh, with some launch control stuff, but hopefully Q2 we can put up a good number, and uh, hopefully this weekend we can bury it down in the fives. Sweet. Well, looking forward to it. What's the uh, fuel air transmission setup on it? Yeah, so it's got a Exergy 14mm CB3, set of their 250% injectors, AirDog 5G 220 lift pump, and it's a 4L80E transmission. So, pretty got simple a, setup. Got a lot of good parts, got a lot of good people back in this build. Yep. Why it's definitely a do it selfer and we're looking forward to seeing it go fast. Yeah, thank you, sir. Sweet, See thank you. you. Shift. Franklin, look at this. Our rails from Ziegler just with the back there ordered 485. Paul Kato gets it for an Rick Box, how you doing today? I'm doing great, Brett. How are you? It's hot, but it feels good. Like it's relatively nice outside. It's a it's a beautiful day, Brett. What's he gonna do? Uh, not break. Not break. God bless. <laughs> Got 
Caden here, first time racer. Caden, what's it going to do? I don't know. I've never been down the track. Have you launched it before? Negative. Good luck. Jordan, we got the trans put back in this thing after we did a refresh on it over at the shop. What's it doing this year so far? Uh, so far, I tested here about a month ago at a test and tune. And uh, I also have brand new turbo setups. Got compounds now instead of a single and bigger injectors. Um, so it ran a 740. I detuned it, it ran a 780. I tuned it back up a little bit, it ran a 759. So I'm kind of all over the place, not real sure what's going to happen. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of waiting to see what I can make this first pass. Got to dial on this VP truck yeah. and make it do its thing. Yep. Thank you, man. Thank you. We got the beloved Gavin here. Gavin, you've had a long couple weeks. Just tell me about it. Yeah, yeah, it's been brutal. Um, kind of been trying to get two trucks together. The first gen, early beginning of the week, we thought it was good to go. Last day before we came here, the the atmosphere charger brace broke, and we had to fab something for that. And we had the trans out because Brett came down, so he went through the trans. Turns out everything was great. We just threw a new DPC, DPC converter in it, and it's been good so far. Drove it eight hours up here. Hopefully, we got enough power pulled out to go 770. We'll see. I don't know. I'm. We just got done resealing the vacuum pump because halfway up here it started, oil just started leaking everywhere. And then in the works of that, we broke one of the power steering lines that goes to the gearbox. So I just got back from an O'Reilly's run and got it thrown on. I think we were called to the lanes like 30 minutes ago, but luckily we're still here. And hopefully we're going to make a 770 pass because we got to qualify, what, top 15, 16? Top 16. Yeah, that's going to be a struggle. So you're telling me you drove eight hours? On a in a first gen to UCC. Yeah, with a very very hurt block. So, would you trade it for the world? <laughs> Nothing. Wouldn't trade it for anything. Chris, we're back at ODR ODSS racing. Looks like you got everything put together. Looks really good. Looks really clean. Tell me a little bit about it right now. Uh, we're back together. It's running. Not really where we're at right now, but we got a few passes, so we'll get where we want to and do something cool. Hopefully. How far of a drive was it to get here? Uh, it was nine hours from my house to where I stayed at a friend's in Ohio, then bumped to here, and that was another two, so we'll say 11, 11 and a half. Hey, best diesel event of the year, right? That's it. That doesn't get better than UCC. Thanks, man.
So, we finally got it done with the duster. Friday, we majorly stunk, kicked the tires twice. Um, the first one, we thought the track was tighter, so we put 50 RPM in the hit, and that was not the right move because we are idiots. Uh, second qualifying pass on Friday, we had a leak out of the water tank that we thought we had it all cleaned up. But as soon as I let off the button, there was still some residual water that we hadn't gotten that went on the right tire and immediately kicked the tire. So Friday we sucked. Saturday it rained all day, so there was no racing, which made us move racing until Sunday. Straight into eliminations, no more qualifying. First round we had Nathaniel DeLong in the Rudy Struck. We did a 419 at 184 and won E1, E2. We had Austin Deutsch in the Firepunk and Eater truck. We went a 412 at 189. And then in the finals, we had Enrique in the Diesel Derma, or Diesel Colorado. We went a 410 at 191. And we finally got a win under our belts. The duster didn't do duster things. We are extremely happy that we feel like we have a solid motor going forward. So now we just need to get the chassis figured out and keep progressing. But that is all, and we got the monkey off our back.